We rely on some of the most advanced technology to study our weather. Satellites orbiting the Earth give us warnings, but when a storm hits, it takes a different approach to learn more. A Colorado man recently put his own method to the test, and Jamie Leary caught up with him today. Jamie, you could call this rocket science. It absolutely is rocket science. This golden resident, he has actually been chasing storms and trying to gather data from tornado for most of his career. This is what we chase storms in, but if this was for Reed Timmer's purposes, he would need this to be armored and equipped with a rocket launcher. Thankfully, on uh, this year, on May 28, we got within about 200 yards of an EF4 tornado. It's not often you hear a person thankful to be that close to a tornado. But extreme meteorologist Reed Timmer gets close to all storms. Snowstorms, hurricanes, flash floods. His sidekick Gizmo comes too. But after a non-storm related injury, both are relaxing at home in Golden. Probably been gone about 250 to 300 days. When he's on the road. I'm especially interested in deploying sensors inside tornadoes from close range that other people can't safely deploy. This year he linked up with a storm chasing engineer who designed these data sensors. On May 28th, they got close enough to successfully launch one into an EF-4. It actually was carried inside the vortex for just over 30 miles, uh, streaming live data back to this ground receiver. 4266. Mark Simpson is that engineer. You can see him clutching his receiver, collecting data as they drove. It's incredible that um, people like Mark can design sensors that are so small that we can attach to rockets and attach to parachutes and they can be carried around inside the tornado. In real time, they were able to track things like wind speed and pressure, a first. Timmer says he and his team plan to make many more of these sensors. We'd also like to uh, really harness the popularity of storm chasing for scientific gain and try to get a, a, a cluster of storm chasers deploying these uh, in the path of the tornado. Who knows, it could be the newest hobby for Kathy or Jim. You could be the first to help out Reed Timmer. Reed says he is definitely not going to give up. He's actually going to North Dakota this weekend for another launch. Live in Denver, Jamie Leary covering Colorado first.